Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, electrical training. In this uh, video, we will try and understand how we can identify the polarity of uh, DC and AC supply. In this video, we will focus on the DC supply. The next video, we will we'll try and help you understand about uh, finding polarity in AC supply. I am sure all of you know what a DC supply is. DC supply basically stands for direct current. Direct current is uh, something that uh, we can get when the AC is converted or brought down to a lower voltage level and is then converted into DC. So, typically uh, a transformer like what you see in front of you will convert a 220 volt uh, power to something like a 12 volt uh, AC voltage and then using a diode it gets converted into DC. Now, DC voltage is typically checked using the multimeter uh, which you see in front of you. A multimeter typically has two leads, one is a common lead which is the negative and uh, one is the positive lead. Uh, using these two leads, we can check the positive and negative points of any DC equipment or a battery. Typically, DC is uh, used in uh, smaller electronic components such as uh, mobile phones or uh, radio transistors and so on. And those are equipments that use a DC supply for which we are going to be using one battery here. This is a 9 volt battery and typically like all batteries, they have a positive and negative point. The positive point is called the cathode um, point and the negative point is called as the anode point. And typically these positive and negative points are marked on the batteries just as you can see in this is very clearly mentioned in the batteries. However, many a times uh, due to overuse you may not the, the signs may not be visible or let us say if you are using an adapter like this or a transformer like what you see in front of you, you may not be able to identify which is the positive and which is a negative point. Now, it is important to know the positive and negative points of uh, the battery primarily to ensure that uh, you place it in the right direction. If you place it in the wrong direction, it can even uh, result in short circuit and can damage the PCB of the electronic uh, component that you are trying to use it on. Uh, and that is the reason why it is important to know which is the positive and negative point of a battery to ensure that you are able to uh, appropriately use it on an electronic device. Now, the adapter is also one such device which converts AC into DC and in this case, the adapter can convert it into multiple voltages. Here, there are two uh, output leads that are behind the adapter. You need to know which one is positive and negative so that you can plug it in appropriately into the electronic device or whichever device you want to plug it in. So, in order to find it, we will have to move the symbol or the move the knob to the respective position. So, on the left hand side is the DC position, right hand side is the AC position. Now, we are going to be checking the DC part. So, we are going to turn the knob to the DC point and place it at 20 volts. Normally, it is advisable to place it at a voltage which is closer to what you think is the required voltage. For example, we are going to be testing a 9 volt battery. So, it is definitely much less than a 20 volt uh, point and that is why we are placing it at 20 volt to test the uh, polarity of this particular device. This will ensure that the multi multimeter is not impacted inappropriately by placing the knob in the wrong positions. And in order to check the polarity, we are going to be using the two probes. These two probes are plugged in in two distinct points on the multimeter. Now, there is a separate video on the multimeter that you can probably uh, go through in one of our mobile repairing courses, but for your convenience, we will just explain what these two points are. So, we are plugging out these probes. The bottom one is called the common one, which is for the negative uh, probe and the top one which says voltage uh, ohms and then uh, milliampere, this is for the positive point. So, you place the red one on the positive point always and the black one on the common or the negative point. So, this way you will be able to appropriately find the right uh, polarity of the battery. So, let us place the probes at the respective points. 
Now we have placed the red in the positive point. You can very clearly see on the side also and the black has been placed on the negative point. So when you place the red on the positive and black on the negative point, you will see the reading shown as 8.55. It is a positive reading. This 8.55 is actually the voltage of uh, the battery. This is a 9 volt battery. So this is close to around 8.5 volts which is more or less within the range that we have expected. So if you get a positive sign that basically means that the polarity is correct which means you have placed it in the correct positive and negative points. Let us say if you place it in the opposite way which means you place the black probe in the positive point and the red probe in the negative point and note the reading on top it is a negative 8.49. So when you have a negative, this indicates that the polarity has been reversed. And using this method, you will be able to exactly identify the positive and negative points of a battery and accordingly place the battery in the right position in whichever electronic device that you are trying to use it in. So in the right positions, the polarity is proper. As you can see now, the red is in the positive and the black is in the negative one and you will be able to exactly see it. So wherever the red probe is, when the digital multimeter shows a positive uh, display, that basically is the positive side of the battery. And accordingly, you can detect the polarity and you will be able to use the battery accordingly. Now you can do the same thing with the transformer as well that we have right in front. So we are going to place the probes in the output leads of the transformer to see which is the positive and the negative side. So let us connect the probes to these two points and see what happens. Let us plug it in whichever way we can uh, without any particular reference to positive or negative. So we have switched on the transformer now and we are placing the probes on two different stuff and as you can see it is showing a minus 12.4. So we placed it at the 12 volt output level and you can see that it is a negative which basically means that the polarity is reversed. So we have placed it incorrectly and now let us place it, when you place it in the correct position you will be able to check. So the black and the red which means we have actually placed the polarities in the opposite direction and that is why the multimeter is showing a negative reading. Now from this you can figure out that the black probe that we have placed is uh, placed on the red wire and the red wire is essentially the positive point. So let us alter this and then check whether we are getting a positive reading when we place it in the other direction. As you can see, we are getting a positive reading here. So basically means this the red color point is the positive point and the black color wire is the negative wire and you can therefore connect it accordingly to the electronic device whichever you are intending to connect. So this is typically how you find the polarity in a DC supply and as we mentioned earlier, understanding the polarity of a DC supply is necessary to ensure that uh, you place the DC connection or the battery in the right direction and uh, any incorrect placement or connection could result in a short circuit and that is the reason why it is important to understand the polarity of the DC supply. Going forward in the next video, we will try and talk about how we can find the polarity of an AC supply. Thank you very much.